everybody, this is Hayden from Connect. It's been a while since I've posted one of these videos, a uh, com combination between a new job and uh, doing a data science course. Um, so um, it's good to be back. Um, I hope you're still with me. First video I'm going to go through today is something that I've been going through in the data science part around the data cleaning, around correlations of your variable data. So when you're going through the data, data cleaning and, and, and data review process trying to find correlations between two variables is, is, is one of the important things to help you understand how you're going to define and build your data model. Here on screen we've got a couple of examples of, of, of what a correlation looks like. So in this left hand side here, the top left number one, you've got a very positive strong correlation between your x and y variable. Um, two, again very strong. Four, no real correlation and then we're moving into negative correlation scores. Now you can plot these um, quite simply using these charts in Power BI, but trying to understand how close they are um, in terms of the correlation between the data is quite important to sort of feedback to your uh, report consumers, your customers, your business. Um, so it's um, being able to actually create the correlation calculation in Power BI is, is quite important. Now you can do this quite simply in Excel with the coral function um, and that is um, equals coral and then you select your two arrays of data your two variables but in Power BI just want to show you a really quick trick on how to, pr to provide that data so I've got a couple of examples so here's a strong correlation so this is just data I've created to, to demonstrate this Here you go, I've got my independent variable, my dependent variable, um, and you can see the correlation coefficient is one. So if we just jump back into the correlations here, your correlation score is between one and minus one. So one is a very strong positive correlation. You sort of, around about 0.75, you get into weak, pos weak correlation territory down to zero, no correlation. And then you've got your negative correlation down to z minus one. So minus one is a strong negative correlation. So the correlation here is very strong. I've also created some weak correlation data. You'll see here that there's very little relationship and it's got a, a correlation coefficient of 0.27. So it's on a slightly positive increase. Um, there. So that's how do we go and create that, that measure to show the confidence in the relationship between two variables? So here I've got some data that's um, a strong correlation, as you can see, but we don't know what that score is. So first of all, just for a bit of consistency, let me add in the trend line. And again, you can see straight away that this is going to be a positive correlation. Yeah, so it's going from zero upwards on an upwards curve. Now, we need to fill this box with a score. Power BI provides you with a quick measure option. So if we select, maybe going a bit too quick, if we select up here, quick measure, in the drop down box here, you scroll down to your mathematical operation section and you've got your correlation coefficient. And what we do in here, you've got your category. Now, I've just created a, an instance, which is a number, the, which is effectively the, 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 the numeric instance that the, the data occurred. This could be, um, it could be a period of time, it could be a month, it could be a quarter, it could be a location, it could be a hub, um, it could be a transportation mode, it could be a customer, for example. So that's your category and how you want to group and sum the data. Your X is your independent variable. And your Y is your dependent variable. Click OK. So after a few seconds, it will build the measure for me. And you will see the code that Power BI puts behind it. So that's the mathematical equation and how Power BI builds that correlation value for you. I'll just call this... Hopefully I've typed that correctly. Good correlation coefficient. Now we just need to 
put this into the card, data card. There we go, uh, 0.97. So again, a very strong correlation, although the data Pardon me. Although the data started to vary from the line, you can see that it's still in that positive correlation effect that as the independent variable moves up, so does the dependent variable. And there you go. So that's how you do a correlation coefficient in Power BI. Just, uh, uh, I guess, a word of warning. There's a website here called Spurious Correlations. Correlations does not mean causation. So um, if you have a look at this website here, just do a search for Spurious Correlations, you can see some great examples. So you've got US spending on science, space and technology in the red. And then it's against suicides by hanging, strangulation and suffocation. I don't know who strangle, strangles themselves, but hey. Uh, so you can see that, that, you know, correlation does not always mean causation. So please be careful with your data. Um, and thanks for watching.